What's going on everyone? Thanks for tuning in again. So today I've got something really special for you guys. We're gonna be go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and do some more things to this thing here. Now, this is a really popular question I've been getting, and I'm going to solve that answer right now. So before I get started, I want to share with you guys something really cool that I've got here in my hand. And I just finished my very first coral red interior die so you guys have been following some time probably I'm guessing if not thank you for joining us but I did a fox red die before and here is the one that most people are waiting for this is the coral red so you can see here I'll just kind of give you a quick I don't know how well this is gonna show but as visual representation goes it is pretty much 100% spot-on exactly coral red now I'll do a little comparison with the Fox Red and kind of go side by side in a little bit, but I'm gonna be sharing that here real soon. I'm gonna do the full interior. I'm gonna do both of these cars. I'm gonna do a DIY and I'm offering my own kit. So that's gonna be coming soon and I'll share that hopefully in the next couple weeks. Just to get the questions out of the way, Coral Red, Fox Red. Coral Red, Fox Red. This is where it came from. So that's the black that I used for this. So it was legitimately black 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 I mean like you can see it is black now this is obviously pretty much just something that I've had in my garage this was from this car but that's the uh, that's how it turned out and it wasn't too bad I'll be honest with you guys it was not too bad so be on the lookout for that subscribe if you want to see those videos coming up so I'll show you guys when that happens all right so without wasting any time let's get into this all right so first things first I'm gonna go ahead and start her up You guys already know that thing sounds like a Prius so we're gonna have to change that here real soon all right so the main reason why you're here and the reason for the title is because we're gonna be going ahead to code our own vehicles now what do I mean by that so here check this out so coding the car simply means you're gonna unlock a lot of the hidden potentials that are in the vehicle simple things such as like folding in the mirrors with your remote rolling down and up the well not rolling down but rolling up the um, windows and stuff like that so let me go ahead and show you all right so here's my key what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and press and hold the lock button and see what happens as you can see they fold in same thing when you unlock fold out by default you can hold down the unlock button and roll down your windows but guess what, BMW never made it so you can roll it back up with the key fob. So you have to unlock it in the US. And same thing, you hold the lock button. And roll it back up. So of course the two favorite things that I like to code is the digital speedometer, which on the dashboard will show you your gauge digitally so you don't have to read the needle all the time. In the 3 Series that is, the M already has it. And video in motion. That's the number one thing I get requested. Video in Motion literally allows you to play DVDs if you have the iDrive. I think it's CSC only, I don't know, but if you have the iDrive and allow you to play your DVDs while you're driving because this turns off automatically because you can't move and play DVDs at the same time. I think there's some legality things of it and obviously I'm not telling you you should, but if you're wondering how I do it and if you're wondering how I can save myself on these long drives, driving up from LA to Seattle, because I can pop DVDs in here and watch movies as I'm driving. All right, so to get started, you need one thing. They call this an, a Carly dongle. So this is what connects to your OBD2 port, as you can see here. It says OBD2, which connects straight in there. So this is gonna connect to that. And I have the iPhone version. Yes, this connects to the iPhone. So you can see it's a Wi-Fi adapter. So all I'm gonna do is plug this in Make sure your battery tender is in, so I have mine hooked up, so I'm not gonna drain my battery. Not a big deal, because it doesn't take too long like MHD or anything. But we're gonna go ahead and plug it in and get it going. Now, if you have an Android, keep in mind you're gonna need uh, the Android version. I don't know exactly how that works, but there is something, obviously, for the Android. But this is for an iPhone, so we're gonna go ahead and proceed with the iPhone version of this. I'm sure it's the same thing, but I don't know. Yeah, so it lights up there, so we know it's working. I'm gonna go ahead and 
take it to the iPhone. I will connect to Wi-Fi. You'll see the Carly adapter is connected. We're going to go to the Carly app. All right, so obviously in here there's a lot more to it. So you can actually read diagnostics. So if you're buying a used car, you can check history coding, parameters, iDrive stuff. I'm not going to get into this too much right now. We can do another video if you guys really want. Comment below if you guys want to see more of all this. But you can see here, OBD function, exhaust flaps. I don't even know what these other things are, but if you get a new battery, you don't have to register it. You can do it on here, all that kind of stuff, which is really cool. But for the main purpose of the video is coding. This is a huge thing that a lot of people ask me about. So we're going to go ahead and get into coding. So you can see here, this is exactly how that works. So first things first, make sure my car is connected. So you can see down here, there's a connect button. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the ignition. I'm not going to turn on the engine, but I'm just going to turn on the accessory mode. So I'm gonna hit that twice. So the car is on. I'm gonna go ahead and hit connect. And I think you can turn off that seatbelt chime too, or the door chime. We might look into that. Car is running, okay, go. Perfect. We'll go into coding. We're gonna continue. check possibilities and here we go all right so it looks like we can do nine different things not sure what that means but let's check it out all right so CES which is comfort access system so locking and all that kind of stuff which we definitely want um, let's see if I can get a little closer look in here so FRM I heard something about this one so I'm gonna be careful um, Footwell modules, anti-theft, windshield wipers, that's that's a must. And here we go, iDrive video in motion, so that's a must. Um, read out CIC. Let's see what that means. So it's just checking some things. Oh, it's backing up, which is good, so backup created. Legal disclaimer, off. Okay, we need to make sure that's off. Camera disclaimer, I don't think I, that any of that matters. But we'll just leave it. Video in motion, we're going to have that on. So you can see here, checked on. PDC, I don't have I don't have any of that other stuff. Daytime running lamps. So a lot of cool things here. Before we actually do that, let's check some of the other ones here. I want to check, like, um, let's just do something like windshield wipers. So windshield windscreen wipers, as they call it. So wiping interval standstill, three seconds or five seconds. It's pretty cool. Wiping interval rear window. I don't have rear wipers, delays, number of wipes after cleaning. Interesting headlight cleaning. So you can just see there's a ton of stuff here. This is ridiculous. So I was going to do something, but I don't feel like I actually don't need to do anything here. So seatbelt module. So we're going to go ahead and turn the seatbelt warning off here. Uh, seatbelt reminder we'll turn that off we'll turn all these off we'll just see what happens uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit code now so this is gonna warn you make sure you have your battery voltage at a certain point as you can see here turn on the engine for coding or put on a trickle charger or something like that so we're gonna go ahead and just hit code anyway so there's an agreement code now it says so we're going to watch as it just does this. Oh, wow, that was really fast. Holy crap. So please turn off and on the ignition. Please do not update the software. Okay. Uh, let's try it out. All right, so as you saw, I just finished coding everything. So I actually went ahead and I did everything. So I did... The mirrors, the locking, the iDrive DVD in motion. Uh, I even disabled the seatbelt extender, the grabber. For, for this car, it doesn't work too well. Um, this car, this car is a lot newer. This car is like eight years, sorry, <laughs> four years newer. So um, it's a lot fresh on here. This one doesn't grab at all times, so I disabled that one. So let's go ahead and see if everything works. All right, so first thing first, we're going to go ahead and use the remote and see if uh, it activated everything. I'll go ahead and hit lock. 
you can see here both windows and mirrors are rolling up and then that should also work with the comfort access system as I have done it so I'll go ahead open perfect and this will also roll up by the way so that's pretty cool let's see if I successfully disabled the seatbelt grabber no seatbelt grabber perfect I usually like it but I'm not gonna care this time so that has worked flawlessly and of course DVD motion is literally as it seems it just plays while you're driving so I'm not gonna go ahead and do that right now but if you do want to get your own Carly dongle you can go ahead and click on the link in the description below and you can go ahead and get yourself one and also don't forget to download the Carly app. It is a free app. There is uh, paid content that you can do to access some of the stuff that you see on here. But don't forget to follow, hit that subscribe button. I'm gonna show you some cool things here. If you do wanna see other things with this dongle, it's such a weird thing that they call it, dongle. But anyways, if you wanna see some co other cool things, I can do another video if you guys really want me to, to go a little bit more in depth. But that's up to you guys, let me know. Otherwise, my next video for this car, I'm going to be doing some more modifications. I really want to do an exhaust next. So we'll see if that's the next video. I believe the next one's going to be the interior seats. So we're going to go ahead and finish up the die. We're going to do fox red and then we'll go into the exhaust. All right. I appreciate it. See you guys in the next one.